Good morning, everybody. Uh, my name is Miloš Kubiček. I am from Lexical Computing. First of all, I would like to thank Georg and Hans and all the other Metanet people for uh, having the opportunity to speak here. Uh, the presentation focuses on Sketch Engine, uh, which is the main product of our company, uh, as a platform for showcasing and providing corpora. So, uh, what are the premises uh, that we build on uh, when creating language resources? I mean, we believe it's definitely that uh, we hope to have many users and many uses. Uh, either we would like to have lots of citations, in case of an academic, or we would like to have lots of money. Uh, the necessary condition is that somebody will use the resource. But deciding to use a language resource is definitely a big commitment. Uh, once you start, uh, you spend a lot of time uh, to uh, see what the resource look li looks like, uh, how it works, what's in there. And um, people want to explore before, uh, before committing. They want to see as much as possible from the language resource. They uh, want to see that in detail. Uh, they want to try. Uh, now, uh, if we are asking people, how do you showcase your resources? How do you show show showcase your corpora? The usual answer is, uh, we give talks and we send samples. Uh, giving talks is definitely fine. Uh, it's uh, how the academics work. Uh, but it's only the first contact. I mean, it's really the first marketing that you do for a new language resource to uh, let the community know. And sending samples is uh, often just not satisfactory by design because, uh, I mean, uh, today we uh, had a great talk on big data. And uh, uh, definitely, uh, people are looking for large data sources. And if you send a sample of uh, not even one person of, of it, uh, that's not enough. Uh, people also don't want to spend a lot of time investigating how the resources organize if they are just you know, considering whether they would like to use it. And uh, if, they have a if they have a sample, it's almost impossible for them to compare it with another sample or another resources. Um, well, therefore, what I would like to present here is a showcasing program that, uh, that the company provides for, for text corpora. Uh, because we believe that this is really central to a language resource program to know how you will widespread. Uh, Sketch Engine, uh, which is the main product of our company, is a corpus query system that's available online via a web interface. Uh, it was originally and primarily designed for lexicographic purposes and is uh, widely used at the uh, uh, largest publishing houses uh, in the world. And besides that, at, uh, uh, at uh, a number of uh, academic and uh, also commercial institutions dealing with, with, uh, with corpora uh, for teaching for research purposes uh, by individuals, by translators, uh, a lot of people. Uh, what it offers, uh, it's all the basic functionality that you would expect from a corpus query tool, uh, like concordancing, sorting, sampling, uh, all of this stuff. Uh, it has support for parallel corpora, uh, several features uh, on top of them. It really scales. Uh, here at the exhibition, uh, we have a poster with my colleague, Pavel Richli, that presents the collaboration of the company with the Masaryk University in Czech Republic, where we have created a, a text corpus from the Clue Web uh, data set uh, that currently has more than uh, 80 billion words and uh, it's indexed, uh, it runs smoothly. Uh, what gave actually the name to the system is a functionality called word sketches. Uh, word sketches are one page summaries of a word's grammatical collocational behavior. They look like that. Uh, we have a simple sketch grammars. Uh, which are built of uh, regular expressions on top of part of speech text. And um, then they give you the information that what are the most significant modifiers for a resource in English, uh, uh, when is resource used as object, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, and we are also able to build distributional thesaurus uh, out, of, out of the word sketches and a lot of other features. We enable our, our users to upload their own corpora build them in the system. So it's a really uh, quite, uh, uh, quite complex and, uh, uh, and um, full setup for uh, dealing with, uh, with, uh, with the text corpus. Uh, 
By now, uh, we have over 400 corpora for uh, 70 languages in the system. Uh, more than 100 of them have over uh, 100 million tokens. More than 30 have over uh, 1 billion tokens. Uh, three years ago, we have started a program uh, for building the so-called 1010 corpora, 1010 from the 10 to the power of 10. So we aim at uh, having uh, 10 billion word corpora for uh, as most languages as possible. We have started with uh, uh, 10 languages that have uh, uh, the most uh, that have the most speakers, uh, and we are continuing with others now. Well, okay, but it's a commercial service, so why should an academic uh, use it? Why should he, why should he use it for show, showcasing his uh, his resource? Uh, what we offer is a, I think, win-win showcasing program where uh, we offer to showcase the uh, the language resource for free uh, to the to the language resource developers uh, who don't have to care about the maintenance and about running the service and so on and so on and the company may gain additional customers. Of course, uh, we try to look for valuable resources that are, um, will be inter interesting for, let's say, general audience, general research audience, general commercial audience. Uh, but uh, the resource developers uh, not only uh, can showcase their resource at no cost, uh, they can also access, the, access the, their own resource at no cost. And in many cases, but that usually depends on, uh, it's decided on case by case basis, uh, they also get uh, uh, access to all the other corpora that we have in the system. Uh, and we believe that this is really a win-win scenario. Uh, it's also very simple uh, to set up because there are no many transfers, so you don't spend months uh, talking to lawyers and fiddling with uh, uh, fiddling with words in uh, 10, 20, 30 pages agreements and care about all this stuff. Uh, and we have already uh, a number of use cases uh, where people, uh, where people uh, showcase their resource via our, via our system sketch engine. Uh, I've listed only a few here. It uh, was the case of Slovene, Japanese, uh, Chinese, German, Czech. Uh, we also offer local installations uh, to, uh, to the people because sometimes there are IP issues. Uh, people are not sure whether they, uh, they can just give the resource to, the, to a third party uh, or they, they are just not willing to. Um, a large part of the sketch engine system is available as open source, basically everything besides the word sketches, so all the, um, all the uh, concordance and all, all the query functionality is available as open source. Anybody can download it, set up on their own. Uh, and um, we really hope that this might be a way uh, for uh, lots of people uh, how to provide people with uh, deep insight into what they have built without, uh, uh, without needing to really commit to that resource. Uh, uh, I should also mention that, uh, well, you might ask now, okay, so you will get the resource and lots of people will pay to you so that they can see that uh, there is a 30 days trial in the system and otherwise uh, for an individual it costs one euro per week, so uh, we don't believe this is really a big barrier for anybody to uh, try to see what's, what's in the system. Uh, and uh, our experience as far is that uh, this is really something that uh, a lot of people can benefit from and have already benefit from. Uh, and uh, therefore, we would like to use the opportunity here to, uh, let's say, uh, offer this again. Uh, to sum up, uh, in our experience, showcasing a resource is really central to a language resource program. If you don't know how we will tell people what you have done, nobody will know. Uh, and if people won't be able to assess your resource to see how good it is, they will not use it. Uh, I have talked a bit about the system itself. Uh, please try yourself. Uh, if you go to uh, www.sketchengine.co.uk, uh, you can register for free and have a look. And uh, yeah, we will definitely be happy to extend the number of resources there. So if you are interested, please talk to me. Thank you. <laughs>